Good morning to you, Mimi. I'd like to introduce you to Team Say Like a Girl. We've been following these ladies since they left Horton. Oh, actually, even before then, our photographer, Jim Scott, has been sailing with them during practice rounds. And it's so great to finally be able to introduce you. So I'm going to go around the room and hope I don't get anyone's name wrong. This is Zoe, Nikki, Lorianne, Amy, Jean, ah, Anna. Anna, and Lisa Cole. Wow, Anna, and I, I, I get your name wrong because I call you MacGyver. Did you have to fix anything on the boat this time? Oh, all the time. Oh. And it's actually like the, my favorite part. That's what you do. You know, you get out there and you just jump on it. How was the, um, how was the trip overall, Jean? Oh, gosh, epic. It was such an amazing adventure. We did some really hard, intense sailing. We were full on 100% of the time. We had variable weather, but a lot of really hard weather, a lot of heavy weather sailing. Um, it was just an incredible adventure. Um, we were talking yesterday about how you sailed so hard you broke the ship. <laughs> we broke the boat. Um, <laughs> we, we sailed hard. We, we lost a piece of our mast, which is kind of critical for holding mm. our mast up. Yes. And so in the last 60 miles of the race, we had to drop our mainsail, which is pretty crippling. We were going about 17 knots Ooh. at the time of boat speed. We were hitting those kinds of speeds, and we had to stop and drop our main and get down to about six knots of boat speed. So that was pretty painful. We only have about 20, 30 seconds left to talk about broaching. So yeah, look at, I love your face. Amy. How did, we were watching video right yeah. now of you broaching. How many times did that happen? Um, more than 10, less than 20? Is that about right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty epic. So um, when you get big gusts of wind, the sail will fill and it will just take the whole boat over. And we have people on the controls to try to ease out those sails to make it so that we don't completely fall over. But it does happen on occasion where we're having to take some of the lines, let them out, let the sails go completely, and then try to rescue them back again. Oh my goodness, a crazy wild ride. Well, coming up hopefully in the next half hour, we're gonna go, go aboard the boat. Can we do that? Absolutely. All right, yeah. we're going to go board the board and see what it was like as you sailed like a girl. All right, we will be here all morning long, so stick around. Back to you in the studio. Hey, Amity, we got we stole another 30 seconds. Can you quickly just go around and see if either one or two oh. of them wants to say scariest moment of the whole ordeal? Okay, all right, I love it. Um, so does anyone have the scariest moment of the whole ordeal? <coughs> Possibly. I don't know. They're the scariest. I don't know, scariest. It, it wasn't at all like scary, but I did need two hands for the boat, so I was holding something, and I had to like leave so that I could hold on. <laughs> the something she was holding was a jet boil that was still on fire. So she was on deck boiling water, and we had a full on, full on brooch like, knocked down. For hot food. We all wanted hot food. food. And Anna's in her flotation, <laughs> her full on flotation Mustang like, suit. And so she ends up literally floating and still on the dock, on the still on the deck of the boat, holding the jet boil. And she just looked at me, and she's underwater. And she took the jet boil and chucked it oh. over the back of her head, and then held on. Weird, because you're oh my like, gosh! Like, okay, at the first stories are incredible. I got to stop you right there because we have got to save stuff yeah. for okay. the next half an hour. So I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. But yes, yeah, stick around for that because. There's a lot more stories here. I love oh, how the first one was like, yeah, but there wasn't anything scary. And then she's like, yeah, she was holding on to fire and floated yeah, away. Know. And then I, yeah, that's right. That happened. Just floating in the ocean oh. with some fire in my hand. It's cool. <laughs>